this week it's Wyatt and I bass fishing. We're the bass masters, right? Oh yeah, all the way. All right, so Wyatt's been fishing this lake quite a bit. Um, I haven't been at here as much, but right after work we're gonna go try to do probably some top water chatter baits. Got a little bit of wind, so we'll be able to slow roll some chatter baits and spinner baits through. Yep. Um, said frogs haven't been working, but I'm gonna try giving it a try here. So let's get after it. Um, no one's at the landing, so that's a bonus. It let's is. go. is on this side yeah. can help us actually yeah well i mean there's a lot of these are brand new you can see which ones are in the water and are new. oh just got a tick Did you? yep Yeah. Oh yeah, big one, big one. Get the camera. Yep. Big one. Oh. There's a chunker. Look at that thing. Nice and fat. Yep. Same thing, guys. We're on the weed line. We're throwing some chatter baits. Like I said, it's windy, so. Two point six. Two point six again. Okay, I'm gonna hold that. Okay, that's number two for me. See, Trevor knows how to hold the fish. I'm still working on that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, we'll nice get this fish. one back in the water. Get your drone on it. Yep. Yeah. Pulling them in on top of the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that's a nice fish. Whatever it is. <laughs> yep. Oh, nice bass. Keep it down. Keep the rod down. Really nice bass. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a big freaking bass. That is. It's a big bass. Yes! Got him! There we go. Get this hook out of here. Him here. Alright, look at this guy. There we go. That's what we're coming here for. I bet he's a solid 310, maybe 4. We'll check him out here. Zero the scale out here. Three ten on the money. My guess game has been great today. Perfect. I'll take a three ten fish any day. Hopefully, we get into the four pound, five pound range today. Sun's starting to go down, so hopefully, these bigger fish will be feeding again. We'll get him off here. There he goes. Oh God. <laughs> Northern. Yep. It's big, whatever it is. Oh! Oh my god. And that's right there if you want. Yeah, you're gonna. Holy. Oh. 
Big pike? Yeah, good pike. Good pike. Do you want to nut it yourself or so I can get on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got it on record? Yep. Look at that! Nice fish on the chatterbait, and it, and it popped out. Ooh, God. <laughs> it's a big pike. That's a cut. <laughs> Look at him. Uh -oh. Nice nice pike off the chatterbait there. <sighs> Hearts racing. That was a fun fight. We'll get a picture of this guy and we'll get it back in the water. Did you? Yep. Second or first cast after I just caught that northern. Nice bass right here. He's staying. I'm trying to keep him down here because he's he's a jumper. Stay down. Stay down. There we go. Look at that one. First cast after I caught that northern, he demolished it. All the way in the mouth. Look at that. All the way in the mouth. This is probably probably three pounder. I'll give it to him. But wow. Lower bottom? What? This is weird. <laughs> Look at this. He didn't bite the hook up. He bite the the hook is hooked this way under on the bottom of the mouth. Bleeding too, that's not good. You gonna have me a players? Yep. Oh wait, 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 wait. It might happen. There we go. Let's get that in the water. He, he'll be good, but there's another good fish right there. God that thing look. It's probably two and a half pounds. It's an average. Bleeding pretty good though, but let's get him back. Let's get him back. Make sure he stays alive. You, which way, where are you going to go in? I'll go straight in. Okay. I'll hug this door actually. We don't want to disturb it too much. Okay. Until we wreck a big bass out of there. Until we wreck a big bass out of there and then we'll make it disturb it a little bit. Oh, that thing smoked it. It did. No, I got it. Got a lot of wings. Big enough for me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one, actually. Really yeah, nice. I bet that one's 310 also. Probably a little shy of three times, but it's close. That's why I run 30 pound braid right there. See all those weeds I pulled in with that fish? Imagine if I went to have 30 pound braid, I probably would have had a lost fish, but oh my, you guys gotta see this. Look at this. It's early June. Look inside that mall. Tell me what you see. Frog just choked it. Just choked that thing. Oh my popped right out too. I'd say this one is closer to, let me find my scale, lose my stuff. Yeah, this, this one's probably mid three. Can't see with my polarized sunglasses on. There it is. Okay, zeroed out. That off to me. Two seven. Two seven? Two seven. That's what I thought. But still a good fish. Very fat belly on him. Yeah, we're gonna get a get a, gonna get a picture of this and we'll put him back.
one this week. I think there's a fish, there's a fish. I think. Ooh. He choked this thing. Gosh, yes he did. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So as you guys just saw, Wyatt was pointing out bait fish and everything in the sandy bottom, easy bottom to fish. You guys want to check that out too. Look at that. I let him, he took that jig instantly. As soon as I dropped that jig into into the, underneath this willow tree, he took it. Full thing like that. Full finesse jig by Outcast Tackle. Really love these jigs. They're made out of Minnesota, right where Buzzed Outdoors is from. So it's kind of cool supporting local town, local, uh, um, companies really good lures I love these things they got this is a bluegill pattern and like why was saying bait fish and you know stuff they're eating so they eat bluegills so it worked out good I had a craw trailer on it and this guy smoked it probably a pound and a quarter a pound and a half not a big fish but fun to catch so get them back in there we gotta catch more Right under the boat here, shut the motor off. Not a bad one. Oh, here we go. Get them unhooked in them. So, about the past half hour, it's been pike, 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 pike. Both me and Trevor lost our green chatter bait, so we're both throwing a white one now. And I'm hoping these bass are going to turn on on the last couple hours of the daylight. Well, last hour, half hour maybe, but hoping that we're going to get some tanks here as the sun goes down. So let's get back out there. Boy, I'll take him any day. Ooh, that's a big fish. That is. Oh yes! <laughs> there we go, guys! That's what we're talking about right there. Look at him. Just a tank. We're definitely putting him on the scale. I bet he's four, four, five, four, six easily. Let's find out. Alright, we're gonna zero this scale out. Zero, zero. Read that off to me. It's on hold. <laughs> Fail. Fail. All right, zero, zero. Let's retry this here. Hold on now. Four, three. Four, three. There we go. Finally broke that four pound mark today. Yeah, you know, there's a lot more in this lake, we know it, but let's hope we can get some even bigger ones tonight as it as the sun goes down. Got one. Nope. Oh my god. Big one? Feels decent. Oh. Well, I've made it for a while, so he should be hooked. Haven't seen him yet. Here he is. Outcast tackle does it again. I'm gonna say it over and over. But look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Big jig, grass, big fish. Look at that. I can't get enough of this. Really, I can't. This is awesome. We'll just let this guy go and we'll try to get more. We're right on this little sand flat and these guys are just pounding it. There's so many fish, this thing looks like it's been beat up, so we'll get him back in there. Thanks for watching.
watching this week's show of Buzz Outdoors. Make sure to always like and subscribe. And also, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Buzz Outdoors. And remember, always chase the buzz.